Today I'm going to be showing you guys a super fire effect that you can use when you run out of ideas to use on your edits. This is the effect right here, and we're going to be doing it inside of After Effects today. So we're currently inside of After Effects, and we have this laser dim music video pulled up. But before we hop into this, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Jacob, and I run the Tiny Tape Shop, resell editing plugins, presets, and a bunch of other assets that you guys can use to level up your music videos, edits, and a bunch of other things. So if you're interested in any of that, it'll be linked down below. But without further ado, let's hop right into this. Now to get started, pretty much all you need to do th for this effect is find the area where you want it to happen. So I'm gonna go like right where this cut happens. I'm gonna press Command Shift D to cut my clip in After Effects. And then we're gonna do it for like uh, this duration right here until the title sequence pulls up just like this. And then we're gonna press Command Shift D again to cut our clip. And essentially all you have to do for this is you want to go over and open up sapphire and write s underscore random edits and i'm telling you this is absolute sauce right here drag and drop it on your clip and it's literally just going to make all your clips shuffle and cut really 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 fast so you'll see right here super super fire so we get a really unique look there i really don't like the ones where the title sequence comes in but i can't really do anything about it since it's um you know it's like a pre-cut music video when you're using it on your footage this won't happen and you can play with everything up here so you can mess around with the frame length uh, the seed uh, the blur mask totally up to you guys on how you want to control everything here now a super mega ultra tip is throwing rsmb on this is really going to make it look amazing you guys can see we instantly get that uh, motion blur there and i recommend turning it up to something like two see how that looks it's distorted so let's go back down to one super cool and let's play that through Maybe the RSMB is a little intense. Maybe you should leave it at uh, 0.5. But yeah, that's that look there. And then if you want to expand on it uh, a little bit more, what you could do as well is go ahead and put some noise on it. I'm going to go ahead and throw on an add grain right here. Change it from preview to final output. And if you scroll in here, you guys can see we have uh, the grain on there. You can go ahead and turn up the intensity if you want. And then I'm also going to turn on a sapphire flicker let's go ahead and turn that noise down to about two intensity and then for the sapphire flicker turn up the amplitude there super fire and if you want to turn up you know the intensity of the flicker you can go ahead and do that yourself there honestly just play around with it until you get the look that you want i also recommend adding a glow so let's go ahead and add something like a deep glow on this and then definitely gonna have to turn that down And then honestly, just tweak it until you get the look that you're looking for. Fully customizable and up to you guys. Anyways, if you enjoyed this super unique effect and something to use when you run out of ideas, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.